All right, so in today's video, we're going to talk about something a little bit differently. Um, kind of relates to law of attraction a little bit, but the main gist of the video is energy work. If you're an energy healer, light worker, energy worker, remote, uh, if you're any of those things, this video is definitely for you. So, I, at, at one point, obviously, I was a massage therapist, and if you've been a massage therapist, you know that if you aren't aware of energy work, you will become aware of energy work because you're going to find out that your energy is getting sucked dry, right? So you start to try to, you know, investigate, well, why am I running out of energy? And it's not just specifically because you're doing all that physical labor. You can tell it, it's not the physicality of massage that's draining. There's something else going on. So once you learn about energy work and you realize, oh, you know, what, what's going on? There's not only this exchange between you and the other person, but there's also an exchange between you and the universe. Start investigating more about all the different modalities of, of energy work. We've got Reiki, and there's all manner of ways that you can go and learn a specific set of circumstances under which you can exchange energy, heal energy, etc. You know, send healing energy, I should say. So, None of those modalities are really ever taken with me. I've always just had a natural ability to just be able to do it, right? And I'm sure that there's some of you out watching that, you know, it's, it's been the same experience for you. It's like, what are you trained in? Well, I'm not really trained at all. It's just, I just do this thing and it helps heal people. But one of the things that I found, and I, and I know I've talked to other people about this, is that when you're doing energy work, significantly it can be a significant drain on you if you're not doing it the way that it might be said to you is if you're not doing it right but I think that for every single person there's a different right way and some of those right ways will resonate where some people can do it in different you know in different forms there's some people that can do Reiki and some people that can't I'm one of those that no matter how I try to learn it it seems to interfere with just what my natural ability is. So over the course of the years, I was doing energy work, and there were some clients when I was doing just specifically energy work, and the results were what I would call good, not overly spectacular, but good, but also it would just significantly drain me. So at some point I just said, you know, I'm just not going to do this anymore because I just can't figure out no matter how much I try to learn, I couldn't figure out how to protect myself from getting drained. So, one of my big loves is doing work on animals. I have three dogs, so I work on them, and I can do remote sessions as well. And I was, you know, my, my oldest dog is a lab Weimaraner mix, and she tore her ACL a few years ago. And so over the course of the few years, I've been working on her, and getting mixed results again the results were good but it was exhausting me and so one thing that happened to me and it wasn't even that long ago to be honest with you it was it was just you know maybe six months ago where i stopped using the same technique and i just when i was sitting down with her i just said you know what i'm going to completely change what i'm doing instead of just feeling like I'm getting into a vibration where I'm connected to the universe and I'm trying to take that energy and let it flow through me and flow into her and heal. When I was doing that, regardless of what I tried, I couldn't stop from expending my own energy as well. I couldn't find that way to block my own energy from going in as well. So what I did is I completely changed what I was doing. And this is a technique that I'd like to hear if anybody else is experimented with this, experience this, or if you try it after hearing this, if it works for you. What I've done now is I'm just putting my hands on her, and I'm just speaking to the universe as if I was just trying to manifest something. So whatever law of attraction ritual that you might use, if you use a verbal technique where you come up with different things that you're saying and, and asking the universe for those things to happen, instead of trying to connect energetically to the universe, I'm using that technique to connect. And I'm very simply just putting my hands on her and then manifesting with intent as though I was 
trying to manifest a new job or money or whatever any of, uh, any of us might try to manifest and the results out of this world. She will go from gimping around and limping on, you know, basically on three legs to the next day, like full on running throughout the yard and she can't run. I mean, she can run if she really tries, but within, you know, the, the next day after these energy treatments that I'm giving her in this manner, for the next week she's running around like there's nothing wrong with her legs at all. And on top of it, I'm not getting exhausted. It doesn't even, it doesn't even take a little bit of my energy away from me. Whatever source I'm connecting to, however this is working, I, I could basically stand here and do it all day. It's like breathing. I feel absolutely no negative effect whatsoever when I'm doing it. So, again, all I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just sitting down with her and I'm just putting my hands on her and I'm just speaking with intention to the universe and basically, in actuality, I'm not even asking the universe for what I want. I'm actually just making it a statement of fact. I'm telling her she will be healed, she will be happy, she will be healthy. It's very, very simple stuff that I'm doing. And I did that on purpose because I kind of wanted to start from scratch because everything else I had tried was working, but I was getting too exhausted. It would just, I would just be drained. So I basically tried like the most basic thing that I could think of to do, and it's working like gangbusters. So I wanted to come on and share that. I know it's not the normal thing that I come around and do, but I'm curious and interested to see if there's any other light workers out there that see this video, come across it at some point in time, and let me know your experiences whether you know, you've already tried this or whether you've tried it now after you've watched the video and, and how it worked for you and if you guys have any techniques that you've come up with how to conserve your energy when you're doing energy work, that would be fantastic. It would be a lot, it would be a lot of fun to see something like that. Also, don't remember, or don't forget, don't remember. Don't forget to watch yesterday's video. Yesterday was a story about why my nickname is Jaws and how a shark attack is actually related to Law of Attraction. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's a good story. You're going to want to watch it. Don't miss it. Don't forget to watch it. So, all right. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow.